lovelies and studlies and welcome to today's craft corner video. Today what we're going to be doing is an autumn craft. So I have two big pumpkins and a bunch of little pumpkins and I'm going to be showing you a couple of different ways that you can go about decorating them for autumn. I know Halloween's already passed, but you can always use any of these methods for Halloween decorations when it comes around next year too. And the great thing about these decorations is the pumpkins last longer because you aren't carving them. You're just painting on the outside, but they look just as cool. So I've got a bunch of different craft type things. We're just going to have a super fun time and decorate some pumpkins. Let's go! The Glitter Monogram Pumpkin. The first thing you're going to need for this pumpkin is some white spray paint. After shaking up the spray paint, we are going to paint the entire pumpkin white. Next, you're going to want to take some spray adhesive and spray the entire top half of the pumpkin aiming down. Next, we're going to take some gold glitter and sprinkle it all over the top half of the pumpkin, letting it fall down and stick in random places. After allowing some time to dry, you're going to take your rhinestone letter and stick it onto the front of your pumpkin. And of course, I have an S for Sherman. After making sure the rhinestones are thoroughly stuck in place, you're left with a beautiful glitter monogram pumpkin. The Copper Give Thanks Pumpkin. The first thing you're going to need for this craft is some copper metallic spray paint. After shaking it well, we're going to paint the pumpkin copper. Next, you're going to need a detail paint brush and some black acrylic paint. Now, we are going to paint Give Thanks onto the pumpkin. You can do this how I did and use freehand, or you can use a stencil. Now that we've finished painting the Give Thanks, I'm going to add some gold foil leaf stickers onto the pumpkin. Now that we're finished adding the details, we're left with a very autumnal copper Give Thanks pumpkin. The Glitter Pumpkin. The first thing you're going to need for this one is some more of the spray adhesive. Take the spray adhesive and cover the entire pumpkin in it. Next, you're going to take some glitter and sprinkle it all over the pumpkin. Make sure to let it thoroughly dry and you're left with a very sparkly glitter pumpkin. The duct tape pumpkin. All you're going to need for this craft is some pattern duct tape and a pair of scissors. All you're going to do is take the duct tape and cover your pumpkin in it. I then took the scissors to help push the duct tape down into the creases to accentuate the lines of the pumpkin. After doing all of that, you are left with your duct tape pumpkin. Glitter Ombre Pumpkins First thing you're going to do is spray paint one of your pumpkins white. 
Sorry for the change of angle, I just wanted to change out the trash bag and get you guys a little bit closer to the pumpkins. The next thing you're going to want to do is spray paint your other pumpkin with the copper spray paint. Now that we've given the pumpkin some time to dry, we're going to spray the top half of the white pumpkin with the copper spray paint, aiming downwards to create an ombre effect. Sorry I wasn't able to include me spray painting that one, but I didn't realize my arm was in the shot the entire time. Next we're going to do the same thing with the copper pumpkin, but with the white spray paint. Finally, we're going to add the glitter to the top of both of the pumpkins. After allowing some time to dry, you're left with two sparkly ombre pumpkins. Alrighty lovelies and studlies, well these are the final products. I very much hope you enjoyed watching this week's Craft Corner. As always, if there's any crafts that you want to do yourself and go back and rewatch, there'll be a link to the timestamp in the description down below. And make sure to tweet me at BrittanyTV or follow me on Instagram at BrittanyNT94 and show me your lovely creations. And that's all I have for you this week. So make sure to give a little love tap to that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this week's craft and you enjoy my pumpkins and if you plan on making any of these or your own variations of any of them. And make sure that you are the first to know. Hit the button down below and subscribe to my channel. And check out all my vlogs and my other craft videos and stuff. And yeah, that's all I have for you this week and I will see you in the next one.